Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ. I welcome all my English language viewers. This video uh, is part two of February first week. So I have covered around 80 to 85 questions. Study IQ sale is starting on 11th, uh, that is day after tomorrow. And uh, we have recently launched MPPSC, Madhya Pradesh PSC pendrive course, and also psychology pendrive course. So now we have these many offerings, there are around uh, 30, 35 offerings we have along with test series. So do check out our website studyiq.com if you want to buy if you want to buy any of our paid courses. You can connect with me on Instagram, my ID is tireless soul or on Twitter, my ID is Eight. So let's start with the video. Government has announced National Health Protection Scheme, NHPS, which seeks to provide health insurance cover to over 10 crore economically vulnerable family. These are families which are financially not that strong and these are 10 crore family. So let's say if there are five people in a family, that makes it 50 crore people making it the largest insurance plan in the world. Now, what is the insurance cover? Insurance cover is rupees 5 lakh per family. And in the budget, there is an allocation of 2000 crore rupees for the same. This scheme, there are a lot of names for it. Some people are calling it Namo Care. Okay. Some are calling it Modi Care. Some are calling it Ayushman Bharat. Ayushman Bharat. Ayushman basically means a person who lives long, okay? And uh, the, the share between the center and the state is 60 is to 40. So 60% money will be contributed by the central government, 40% will be contributed by the state government. And also remember our health minister is JP Nadda and our health secretary is Preeti Sudan and our minister of state in the ministry of health is Anupriya Patel. India and Pakistan they have agreed to extend the Thar Link Express till January 2021. It connects which two cities? It, it connects Jodhpur, which is in Rajasthan, with Karachi, which is the capital of Sindh. So the answer is B. Please note there are two trains between uh, India and Pakistan. One is called Samjhota Express. Samjhota means compromise in, in, in English. Samjhota Express and uh, second one is Thar Link Express. Thar is also the largest desert in India in areas like uh, Jodhpur, Badmer and Jaisalmer and these areas, right? Similarly, between India and Bangladesh, we have two important trains. One is called Maitri Express, M-A-I-T-R-E-E. -E, and the second one is called Bandhan Express, B-A-N-D-H-A-N. Bandhan means relationship, Maitri means friendship. Who inaugurated the first ever international Kala Mela? Kala means art in New Delhi. It was inaugurated by our Vice President and Chairman of Rajya Sabha, Venkaiya Naidu. He is the 13th Vice President of India. Government has announced to create a dedicated affordable housing fund so that the projects under affordable housing scheme, which is the housing for all or Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana, Grameen and Urban. There are two types. So under Grameen, there will be 4 crore houses that will be built. Under Urban, 2 crore. Total 6 crore houses will be built till 2022. And the minister for the same is Hardi Puri. He is the minister for housing and urban affair. So this affordable housing fund will be set up under what? It will be set up under NHB. Now you should also know some of the allocation for some of the other schemes also. So for Swachh Bharat, allocation is 2500 crore rupees. For Smart Cities Mission 6169. Now let me also tell you, earlier there were 90 smart cities that were supposed to be built. Now there are 9 more. So total in India, 99 smart cities will be set up. Right? Then there is a scheme called Amrut, which means Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation, under which there is an allocation of 6,000 crore rupees. And then there is a scheme, Hruday, H-R-I-D-A-Y, Hruday, 161.5 crore rupees. Hruday scheme is for, uh, for you know, increasing tourism. But the, but the interesting thing about Hruday is that it is not by the Ministry of Tourism, it is by Ministry of Urban Development. Ministry of Tourism has a similar scheme called Prasad, P-R-A-S-A-D, and another one called Swadesh Darshan. Ministry of Tourism is headed by K.J. Alphonse. He is the Minister for Tourism and Rajya Sabha MP from Rajasthan. And Ministry of Culture is headed by Dr. Mahesh Sharma. Data Privacy Day was recently held on which date? Data Privacy Day is on January the 28th to spread awareness about the uh, you know data and how it can be breached and how you can stay safe and so on. Which famous personality is given V. Shantaram Lifetime Achievement Award at the 15th Mumbai International Film Festival for Documentary, Short and Animation Film. He is a legendary filmmaker and this award was bestowed upon him by 
महाराष्ट्र गवर्नर सी विद्यासागर राव हिज नेम इज श्याम बेनेगल श्याम बेनेगल नाउ लेट मी टेल यू वन मोर थिंग देर इज अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री विच इज कॉल्ड ब्रदर जैकब आर यू स्लिपिंग ब्रदर जैकब आर यू स्लिपिंग दिस इज अ नेम ऑफ अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री इट वॉज गिवन द बेस्ट डॉक्यूमेंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड अवार्ड and this award is called golden conch award c o n c h and it is made by stephen bohuns stephen bohuns the name is brother jacob are you sleeping which company has launched a public initiative called security check kiya which means have you checked the security this is to spread awareness again about the data breach and how you can stay safe in this new digital ecosystem this company is google and google ceo is sundar pichai facebook ceo is Mark Zuckerberg, Microsoft Satya Nadella, Amazon Jeff Bezos. Global Investor Summit, which is called Advantage Assam, it took place in Guwahati in Assam. It saw an investment commitment of how much amount? Total amount committed is one lakh crore rupees, with companies like ONGC, RIL, Tata Trust, and many other taking interest. Assam Bihu is a dance of Assam, and Sarbanand Sonowal is sitting right here. He is the CM, and Jagdish Mukhi is sitting right here. He is the Governor, and this fellow is PM. Department of Telecom in India, they have announced to set up a development center for 5G technology in partnership with which IIT. So it's just a matter of time before we have the advent of fifth generation technology in India to upgrade the speed of our mobile phones. This is done in a collaboration with IIT Chennai. Chennai is the capital of Tamil Nadu. CM is Adapadi Palna Swami. Government has announced a new scheme which is called Rise, revitalizing of infrastructure and systems in education. The total amount on this will be. Uh, for next four years, how much? The total amount will be one lakh crore rupees, and this is basically to improve the student classroom ratio and pupil teacher ratio, right? Uh, also remember that education comes under HRD or Human Resource Development, and our minister for the same is Mr. Prakash Javadekar. Uttar Pradesh has recently inaugurated first butterfly park for the conservation of butterflies. Where has it been inaugurated? The investment is one crore rupees. This has been done in Kanpur. Uttar Pradesh CM is Yogi Adityanath. Which regiment of the Indian Army they recently celebrated their 250th raising day on February the 4th? So that means that it has been 250 years since this regiment of the Indian Army was raised. So this is the Maratha Light Infantry, the very very gallant, brave Maratha Light Infantry. What is the name of the 1.4 lakh crore scheme that is launched by pro, that is launched by the government for promoting solar farming this scheme is called kusum now there is a full form of kusum that you need to remember it is called kisan urja kisan mean farmer uh, and uh, urja means energy kisan urja suraksha suraksha means uh, conservation or like what how do i say it suraksha you protect something that is suraksha so kisan urja suraksha evam evam means and Uthan Mahabhiyan. Uthan means progress, development, and Mahabhiyan means it's a like a large initiative. So that is called Kusum. So I'll tell you in short what it what it is. Okay. So there are thirty million or three crore pumps in India, right, for agriculture usage, and out of those one crore or ten million pump pumps, they they are diesel run. Now we want to reduce the consumption of diesel because we are a petrol importing economy. right so therefore our current account deficit increases when we buy too much of petrol and diesel or crude oil from uh, middle east therefore we want to de diesel or reduce the consumption of diesel in our pump so therefore the government has decided that 17.5 lakh or 1.75 million pumps solar pump will be distributed to the farmer is it clear or not clear and uh, for that the budgetary allocation for this year that means the coming year 2018 19 which will start from 1st of april 2018 and end in 31st march 2019 is 48000 crore rupees this scheme is called kusum our defense minister nimala sitaraman she has announced to develop india's first defense industrial production corridor between which two important cities one is chennai one is bengaluru so the answer is chennai and bengaluru chennai is capital of tamil nadu and bengaluru is capital of karnataka bengaluru has the headquarter of isro As per Mercom India, India has achieved the solar capacity target of what? India has achieved a target of 20 gigawatt. But our target for 2022 for solar is 100 gigawatt, and for renewable energy is 175 gigawatt. And our minister for renewable energy is R K Singh. He is also the minister for power. Juan Orlando Hernandez. He has become the president of which country? 
Now this country's capital, I don't expect you to know. The capital of this country is Taeguki Galpa. Taeguki Galpa. Be honest, you must have not heard about it. Okay. This country is Honduras. Which of the following has signed a memorandum of understanding with Russia's company called United Shipbuilding Corporation? So this is Cochin Shipyard, which is in Kerala. Mormugao is in Goa. Kolkata is in West Bengal. Vishakapatnam is in Andhra Pradesh. It is the third cleanest city in India. And it also has the cleanest railway station of India. It is called Vizag in short. India's largest floating treatment wetland has recently been inaugurated at which place? Floating treatment wetland which means what? Wetland is an area which either has moisture or it has water. Right? India is also a party to Ramsar Convention. And uh, floating treatment means that these plants you grow without soil which is called hydroponics. Remember this word hydroponics which means growing a plant without the help of soil. And what these plants will do? They will clean the lake. This lake is called Naknampur Lake. It is in Hyderabad, capital of Telangana. As per a report by BMI Research, India's fiscal deficit in 2018-19 will be what? It will be 3.5% of the GDP. And as per the budget, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley said that the fiscal deficit target is uh, you know, 3.3% and revised this 3.5% in 2017-18. Which company has signed a memorandum of understanding with Assam government for river taxi service in Guwahati? And you know the name of river in Assam, it is called Brahmaputra. There is a river island called Majuli, which is India's largest river island. So this company is Ola. And Bhavish Agarwal is the CEO of Ola. Who has written the book called Hisab Kitab? And this is regarding household budgeting. This is, uh, she is an actress. Her name is Anjana Sukhani. How much amount has the finance minister Arun Jaitley announced for the restructured national bamboo mission, which will benefit farmer? In fact, what he has called bamboos, he has given a name called green gold. Bamboo is green gold. Okay. And bamboo is not a tree. It has been excluded from the definition of a tree. The amount that will be set up, that will be allocated is 1290 crore. How much amount of loan is China and United Nations Development Program giving to Pakistan for federally administered tribal areas and Balochistan development? The amount is $4 million. And China is also building their second overseas military base at Dawani in Pakistan. They already have a port called Gwadar, but Gwadar is a commercial port, not military. This will be a military port. And China's first overseas military base was in Djibouti in Horn of Africa. Which state government has launched four schemes? to promote entrepreneurship in agriculture and allied sector, especially among the economically backward segment. This state is Maharashtra. Devinder Fadnavis is the CM. It's a coalition between BJP and Shiva Sena. When was World Cancer Day observed? The tagline is, we can, I can. We all can fight from, with cancer. The answer is 4th of February. On 2nd February, we have World Wetland Day. Who has taken over as the CEO, chief executive of the nuclear fuel complex? India is not a member of nuclear supplier group, but India is a member of MTCR, Australia group and Asgabat agreement and um, you know, a lot of recently, recently India has become a member of a lot of organizations. His name is Dinesh Srivastava. Who won the women singles title in the Indian Open? She beat PV Sindhu. So PV Sindhu won the silver. And Bivin Zhang won the gold medal. Central government has sanctioned a 62 crore rupees project to control the pollution in River Sal. Where is River Sal located? It is located in Navelim town of Goa. Okay, Goa CM is Manohar Parikar, governor is Mridula Sinha, and Goa and Karnataka they have a dispute over Mahadai or Maha Mandovi River. Which space agency recently launched the world's smallest rocket? And it can carry satellites also. It is launched by Japanese Aeronautic Exploration Agency called JAXA. CNSA is Chinese, NASA is American, ISRO is Indian. Which union ministry has recently launched the Green Good Deeds campaign? It was launched by Dr. Harshwardhan, who is the Minister for Envir Environment, Forest and Climate Change. Nikos Anastasias. Nikos Anastasiades has been re-elected as the president of which country? This country is Cyprus. And uh, can you tell me the capital of Cyprus? Write down in comments. Which Indian golfer won the Maybank Championship in Malaysia? Malaysia is an ASEAN country. Its, it's uh, Prime Minister Najib Rajak was on a visit to India at the Republic Day among the 10 ASEAN uh, head of states. His name is Shubhankar Sharma. 
Which union minister launched the rapid detection kit for adulterants in fresh fish? Which means that if you are eating fish, we need to check whether something is mixed, some it is adulterated or not. And this rapid detection kit can do that in seconds. This was launched by Radha Mohan Singh, who is the Minister for Agriculture. And these kits are developed by Central Institute of Fisheries Technology, which is in Kochi in Kerala. Hukum Singh passed away. He was a what? He was a politician and uh, he was a BJP MP from Kairana in Uttar Pradesh. Which of the following companies conducted the first flight of light combat helicopter using self-made or indigenous developed automatic flight control system AFCS? This company is Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Which team won the under-19 cricket world cup that took place in New Zealand? Capital of New Zealand is Wellington. It was won by India. And Prithvi Shaw, he is the captain of the Indian under-19 cricket team. And man of the match was Manjot Kalra in the final. Manjot Kalra. What is the name of the new initiative to be launched to expand airport capacity for more than five times? We want to improve our airport capacity, increase it by more than five times. It is called Nub Nirman. Nub basically in English means sky. But there is a full form of Nub also. It is called Next Generation, Next Gen Airports for Bharat. In short, Nub. And there is another scheme called Udan, Ude Desh Kaam Nagrik. The second phase was launched recently and highest number of airport allocation has got been given to Uttarakhand followed by Uttar Pradesh. Which documentary won the American Grand Jury Prize at the Sundance Film Festival that took place in Utah, US. It is called Kailash. It is on the life of Kailash Satyarthi, Nobel Peace Prize winner, who has uh, done seminal work for making sure that children are out of bonded labor. He has protected uh, more than 70,000 children from the menace of child labor. And this Kailash movie is directed by Derek Donin. Derek Donin. Regulators in which country have recently approved a mitochondrial donation therapy to create its first three-person baby? What is three-parent baby? So this is a male, this is a female, okay? Every cell is like that. There is a nucleus and there is a cytoplasm which contains mitochondria, okay? Now let's say mother is suffering from any mitochondrial disease, okay? So in the child also they will come because in the child receives mitochondria from mother. So what they do is they take a donor they, uh, they remove the nucleus of the donor. Now this is a cell. This is without nucleus. What they do, they, uh, you know, it is all cytoplasm. But since this cytoplasm is got from donor, it is normal. And then they uh, extract the nucleus from the mother cell and they insert into it. Okay. So now we have a cell. Here the nucleus is from the mother and the, the cytoplasm which contains mitochondria is from the donor. So it is a now a normal cell. It does not have the mitochondrial disease from the mother and you fuse it with the sperm of the father. So here we have three parents, not two. That is sperm comes from male. Okay. Sperm comes from male. Uh, the, the female, uh, there are two females. Okay. One female gives, uh, donor gives uh, mitochondria or cytoplasm and nucleus is got from the mother. This has been started in United Kingdom. Which of the following has been launched by the government with the allocation of 500 crore rupees to promote production of top tomato, onion and potato. It is called Operation Green. Operation Green. Commerce Ministry has recently Commerce Ministry has uh, recently launched Government E-Marketplace version 3. Who is the CEO of Government E-Marketplace and who is the chairman? See, these are two separate questions. Chairman is our Commerce Secretary Rita Tiotia, but they are not asking chairman. They are asking CEO. CEO is uh, another female, Radha Chauhan. And Commerce Minister is Suresh Prabhu, who has been appointed as the Odisha State Election Commissioner. What is his name? His name is Nab Kumar Nayak, who inaugurated the 32nd Surajkund International Craft Fair in Haryana. It is the largest in, you know, handicraft uh, fair in the world. And uh, it was inaugurated by Yogi Adityanath because Uttar Pradesh is the theme state this time. And the partner country here, Kyrgyzstan, it is the partner country. And you can see uh, Manohar Lal Khattar, he is the CM of Haryana. You can also see Miss Bahuguna, she is also a minister in the uh, Yogi Adityanath cabinet. So Yogi Adityanath is the answer. Which country won the gold trophy at the 4th International Young Chef Olympiad that was held in India? Young Chef Olympiad was won by Malaysia. 
which country has launched its first seismo electromagnetic satellite that will study seismic precursor which means if there is an earthquake it will try to forecast it early to prevent damage on a large scale this has been done by cnsa chinese space agency they launched it from gobi desert which is in mongolia china etc an international conference took place on demetrios galenos and his legacy it was held where now demetrios galenos was a greek scholar who had visited india in the 19th century and this uh, conference or to to commemorate him took place in new delhi anu kumar she won the, uh, he he won the first gold medal in the khelo india school game he won the gold medal in which category he won it in racing 1500 meter he won the gold medal sudha karmakar passed away she was a famous what she was a marathi actress government has announced to make your permanent account number pan mandatory from 1st of april if you do a financial transaction of more than how much amount if you do a financial uh, transaction of more than 2.5 lakh pan is mandatory and up to 2000 rupees of digital transaction if you do then merchant discount rate is not there who has taken charge as the new foreign secretary of india he was an ambassador of china also and given the fact that with china uh, china india relations will be very important uh, in the next 10 years uh, the experience with china is very very crucial his name is vijay Sh uh, keshav gokhale he will replace mr s jay shankar who is the outgoing and vijay Sh keshav gokhale has been uh, appointed for 2 years who has been appointed as the new chief justice of bangladesh his name is sayyed mahmud hussain which union minister has launched crisidex the the name crisidex means cri stands for crisil sid stands for sidbi it has been jointly developed by both of these okay both are credit trading agency sidbi is also a bank small industries development bank of india headed by mohammad mustafa headquartered in lucknow and what is crisidex it is india's first sentiment index it was launched by arun jetli finance minister which country's president abdullah yamin has declared emergency it is maldives it is in news every day and there is a like abdullah yamin versus noshad that is the entire crux of the matter and abdullah yamin he has some dictatorial tendencies do check out the video by prashant dhawan if you want to know more ministry of external affair has increased the budget allocation of which country by 75% to rupees 650 crore uh, you know we were supposed to give this country 375 crore rupees but now we will give uh, more than 75% we will give 650 crore this country is nepal and vidya devi bhandari is president and new prime minister of nepal is khadga prasad sharma oli kathmandu is the capital how much additional amount has india pledged towards the un partnership fund un partnership fund was set up in 2017 this was for unossc which means united nations office for south south cooperation india will give 100 million usd finance minister arun jetli has proposed a new law for automatic revision of salaries for mps every how many years every 5 years and the new salary of the president of india is 5 lakh rupees a month vice president 4 lakh rupees and governor is 3.5 lakh rupees which country celebrated their 70th independence day on 4th of february this country is sri lanka president is maithri pala sirisena capital is jabardhanpuri kote which team won the 8th hockey india senior women national championship b division that was held in the capital of jharkhand ranchi it was won by crpf and crpf defeated kerala in the final and remember that crpf is a paramilitary force and ranchi is the capital of jharkhand jharkhand has betla national park and palamo tiger reserve draupadi murmu is the governor 20th edition of the kala ghoda art festival was recently held where it is being held in mumbai and the theme this year is green ghoda or hara ghoda green means hara in hindi uh, green ghoda it is called because this time they want to focus on environment so environment is represented by the color green finance minister arun jetli has recently announced the plan to build a tunnel through the sela pass at which place it will connect tawang with the west kameng district now both are these district you know in arunachal pradesh pema khandu is cm itanagar is the capital which state government has collaborated with unicef they have inaugurated dastak campaign which is to protect against japanese encephalitis and acute encephalitis syndrome and uh, lot of um, children in this state have died from acute japanese encephalitis and acute encephalitis it is uttar pradesh unicef is headquartered in new york how much amount has been allocated for defense by finance minister arun jetli for the coming financial year 2018-19 it is 2.95 lakh crore and it is the lowest ever since 1962 
इफ यू टॉक अबाउट इट एज अ परसेंटेज ऑफ द जी डी पी फिल्म मेकर धर्मा सेना पाथी राजा द लेजेंडरी फिल्म मेकर पास अवे ही वॉज फ्रॉम विच कंट्री ही वॉज फ्रॉम श्रीलंका विच फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनी इज पार्टनरिंग विद इंडियन काउंसिल ऑफ मेडिकल रिसर्च टू कॉम्बैट द मैनेस ऑफ एंटी माइक्रोबल रेजिस्टेंस विच डब्ल्यू एच ओ हैज सेट इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट चैलेंजेस ऑफ ऑफ द मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड एंटी माइक्रोबल रेजिस्टेंस दिस कंपनी इज फाइजर इट इज अमेरिकन फार्मास्यूटिकल कंपनी विच कंट्री हैज साइंड अ स्ट्रेटेजिक पार्टनरशिप एग्रीमेंट कमिटिंग थ्री सेवेंटी मिलियन डॉलर टू यूनाइटेड नेशन वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम फॉर द नेक्स्ट थ्री ईयर टू थाउजेंड एटीन टू टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी वन दिस कंट्री इज स्वीडन एंड द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम इज इन रोम विच इज द कैपिटल ऑफ इटली इटली इज कैपिटल रोम ऑल्सो हैज द हेडक्वार्टर ऑफ फूड एंड एग्रीकल्चर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच कंट्री रिसेंटली इनोग्रेटेड द वर्ल्ड लॉन्गेस्ट जेप लाइन इट इज टू पॉइंट एट किलोमीटर इट इज लॉन्च फ्रॉम दुबई विच इज इन यू ए कैपिटल ऑफ यू एज आबू धावी एंड इन दुबई देर इज अ माउंटेन कॉल्ड जेबेल जी जे ई बी ई एल जे ए आई एस जेबेल जेस इट इज यू एज लार्जेस्ट माउंटेन पीक फ्रॉम देर इट इज लॉन्च विच एयरपोर्ट हैज बिकम द वर्ल्ड बिजिएस्ट सिंगल रन वे एयरपोर्ट इट हैंडल्स नाइन एटी अराइवल्स एंड टेक ऑफ इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर द एवरेज इज वन फ्लाइट पर मिनट इट इज द मुंबई एयरपोर्ट and also remember that mumbai airport has only one runway and the second is gatwick airport which is in uk pelican festival was recently celebrated on koleru lake at the atapaka bird sanctuary at which place it is andhra pradesh there are seven types of pelican birds economic survey 2018 has pegged a financial year 19 gdp growth at what percent remember this is of next year next financial year it is uh, 7 to 7.5% and for this year it is 6.75% the year that is ending after two months on march 31st who will head the task force that has been constituted by the department of defense production to study the use of artificial intelligence in military it will be headed by n chandrashekharan he is the chairman of tata who has become the first service air chief of a foreign country to fly on india's indigenously built light combat aircraft tejas lca tejas it is india's self built it was flown by mr david goldflein he is the chief of army staff in america louis zurich he passed away he was a famous what he was a actor and one show was very popular mad about you his show there was a book called exam warrior that was released by um, prakash javadekar and sushma swaraj this book is written by which person it is written by narendra modi Which state government has signed an agreement with National Building Construction Corporation, which is called NBCC? They will set up 65 stories twin tower trade center at Guwahati. So this was signed by Assam. Government has announced to levy corporate tax of 25% on companies with turnover up to how much? So corporate tax is essentially 30%. Okay. Earlier, any company which has a turnover of more than 50 crore rupees needed to pay 30% of the tax, right? But now this has been increased to 250 crore. so any company which uh, which has a turnover of up to 250 crore per year uh, will uh, have to pay only 25% tax and any company which has more than 250 will have to pay 30% this include 99% of the company so essentially corporate tax has been reduced so the answer is 250 crore which earlier was 50 crore earlier any company with more than 50 crore turnover had to pay 30% and less than 50 crore had to pay 25% now it is 250 crore Which of the following has signed a project agreement with Inland Waterway Authority of India for a 375 million dollar loan for Jal Marg Vikas project which will be on National Waterway 1 which is from Allahabad to Haldia on Ganga River This loan will be provided by World Bank and our minister for water resources is um, Nitin Gadkari Finance minister Arun Jaitley has announced to merge three insurance companies which is not one of them So United India Insurance is there, OIC Oriental India Insurance is there, National Insurance Company is there, New India Insurance is one not one of those companies. Which state government is going to launch a transgender welfare board? It will be launched by Maharashtra for the development of transgender. What is the name of the series of residential school? So in India, what the government has announced is by 2022, in every block of India which has at least 50 percent scheduled tribe population and at least 20,000 uh, tribal population. we will build a special type of school for their their upliftment these schools will be called eklavya schools which country has recently been admitted to the agreement on the establishment of an international transit corridor between iran oman turkmenistan and uzbekistan which is called azgabat agreement this country is india which state government has approved goda zari in chandrapur district as a new wildlife sanctuary this new wildlife sanctuary is in maharashtra chandrapur district and 
it will also include 159 km square of Brahmapuri forest. Lakshmi Devi Kanakala passed away. She was a famous word. She was a Telugu actress. So the answer is actor and she was for Telugu films. How much amount of standard deduction has been announced by the finance minister for salaried taxpayers in lieu of transport allowance and medical expense reimbursement? The amount is 40,000 rupees. And remember that the education cess was 3%. Now it has been renamed to education and healthcare cess and it has been increased to 4%. So this was the video first week February part 2 the quality of questions was absolutely amazing because I also included questions from economic survey and budget which are very important for your all the coming exam. Now you are waiting for January best 200 questions in English and I will bring that to you today itself. Thank you so much.